Hey everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back, and this is another infamous swoosh video. The next part is that I'm about to be doing is one of its all latest of this new story that I'm about to be doing it right in between. And yes, as you can see right now, he's back with the odd ones out from James. So this is amazing, and I'm going to tell you now that everything had changed differently. Because after funny stories at school, now he wants to talk about school school stories. Well, I already did the one with the Hamanations one. That's the camp one. It sucked. But it's okay with that. I mean, I'll give credit to that. So I'm a second favorite fan of the infamous swoosh. But my first favorite fan is Hamanations. I mean, for those of you who don't like it, I mean, don't complain about me. All right. Because, you know, I already have the infamous swoosh shirt, and that was the best one I would wear. Even in case, if I would go back to VidCon and then show it off to Nathan, of course, he would definitely would like it. I mean, <laughs> not kidding. But in the meantime, let's stop waffling around. Let's see what his story has to say. Here we go. Yeah, who wants to start? Who's who, 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 How are we doing this? Who just wants to let it out? So James is teaching me about math in this video. <laughs> 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he teaching you math? Oh, math is for everyone. You should join. Oh, no, I would not. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this month's episode of Swoosh Brings on His Friends to talk about fun things. Oh, yeah. He likes to talk about fun things. And definitely, of course, yep, he's back. So I already have the last one that it was the uh, school funny stories. Um, You could definitely check that one out here on the calling card info if you're interested in that. So... Maybe my last reaction was all right. Well, let's see how this one goes. Today we have the odd ones out. The pioneer of school stories, okay? Shut up. <laughs> when I was... <laughs> oh my God. What did you absolutely say? You just want to, like, get rid of your friend for good? Oh, for good's sake? No way. Don't even think about that. Getting rid of your tumble friend. In seventh or eighth grade, I had a big crush on one of my classmates. And there was like maybe okay. 10 kids. I thought you were going to say teacher. And I was going to be like, no, no. what is wrong with you? <laughs> I had a crush on uh, one of my classmates because there was only like 10 of us in our little private school in my class. Oh, I thought this was public. One day we were watching some like documentary in history class. And I was sitting next to this girl that I liked. And I was like, Ooh. you know, you can't mess that up. <laughs> um, But I did. I remember I like farted and like <laughs> she was like did did you just fart and i was like no no i know i didn't just fart <laughs> what? why would you say that i mean you should not be farting in class like that and is this really like safe to do this oh my god I, I, <laughs> if i couldn't take this anymore i would know that it would be me like doing it all over again and that, it was a joke I did. I mean, just to put on a character, I mean, I just laughed. And <laughs> this is what happens if I do this. They would say, like, oh, he just did it again. Not for once, but, oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my goodness, and famous Swish, what is going on with you? You definitely have a little bit of a bra child brainiac. For real. I remember, like, being like, S no, that was my desk. And I, w I literally started <laughs> I shaking. I see? Yeah, I was. I started shaking my desk to like make a noise. It wasn't the same sound. No, of course it wasn't the same sound. I thought you were doing that because, you know, when I was just shaking that sound, I thought SpongeBob did that. And I think I was even like, same, you know? What? Oh my god. Oh yeah, she's pretty insane. She's thinking like, you know what? I'm not going to date this guy. He's a little too. Scary. And he's definitely just trying to, like, put the joke on me like that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever. What lesson did we learn from that story, Swoosh? Uh, don't <laughs> fart in front of women. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, don't ever think about doing this like me. And, you know, I mean, I wouldn't definitely do that in public when I was in the uh, contest. I wouldn't definitely do that. You know, that would be pretty, pretty bad. And I would never like that. Good luck. They'll never understand. The girls don't <laughs> fart, so... Swoosh, can I... I thought they do. ...ask you a question? Have you ever cheated? Well, I'm perfect, so no, <laughs> duh. I mean, who's perfect? Nobody. Not even everybody in the whole world. Only the God knows. 
He's perfect. <laughs> I had a class. It was a math class. And we had a lunch in the middle of that class. We oh, really? We have these like big, long math tests, but they wouldn't split them up. So we would start the math test, go to lunch, and then finish the math test. Oh, really? In classrooms? Oh my and gosh. Like, so many opportunities to cheat. What were you expecting? You know, like- Hide the answer to the burger. <laughs> oh my God, that Brody Animus, I just see that one on the paper. Why would why would he definitely uh, just say, why is this on the paper for real? It's a math test, go to lunch, and then finish the math test. Oh my and gosh. Like, so many opportunities to cheat. What were you expecting? You know, like- Hide the answer to the- I mean, that guy. I mean, how is this- like that. What is all with this? All of these. Uh, that's number one. That D. Uh, somebody is just putting the questions already. I mean, a fury. Fu Who made this one up? Why would someone would consider it if, if he's fury? Uh, amazing, hateful, crucial. Why would you have to explain that? I mean, what in the world do you have to think about this? I mean, this is nothing. But I really wanted to look over it. A fury? What? A blue here? Blue her? I mean, what is that thing? Brody animates? Why is this air in the first place? And fart. Oh my god, I can't handle this anymore. Even Warrior took too many farts at the same time when he had the explosive diarrhea. I'm not going to say it again there, Warrior, so I'll, I'm sorry, but that's what he does. Drink too much coke? Uh, sometimes burgers, sometimes, you know, like, you, pizza. Burger. <laughs> we would do the test and then go to lunch and then everyone in the class would like sit at a table just discussing the test. Just, oh my gosh. How do you do dude. number oh, 14? That's how so do you do dumb. number 14? Oh, no way. I, I was, I was expecting that if there would have been like a math class to do this at lunch, if my school would definitely, definitely ever would do that, they would say like, you know what? This is not going to happen like that. I mean, I, I decided to ask my teacher if I could do this map in classroom first and then go right into, you know, the cafeteria because they, everybody knows. I mean, they, they don't eat lunch here. Some of the kids I was really expecting that someone someone just ate here in a classroom and I can smell it. Like, I mean, I don't know what to say about that because it is not really safe to eat here. Like at the biology class, food lab tests of a science nutrition, computers, library, no way. That's not healthy and it's definitely kind of distracting. Or even definitely in gymnasium, of course, which they have tables here where you could sit around here. And definitely the bleacher said you could just like eat there too. I mean, they would have the expansion plan because there's many kids there. And there's fold-up tables in between. I mean, like, oh my god. I mean, they're bringing in everything. How in the world am I supposed to eat somewhere? <laughs> I don't even know what to do. But, yeah, I mean, just a quick fact. I mean, not all students uh, who were in high school definitely chose the cafeteria. But sometimes they chose it in gymnasium. Some kids usually take uh, lunches in the band room. I don't know why would they do that, but hey, look, listen, it's no joke anyway. I mean, it's just real, okay? It's great. No. That reminds me of something too. In our history class, we had this teacher who I mentioned in the teacher story. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, the teacher stories, I, I kept forgetting what that it is. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's the same guy, just like other teachers that I reacted to. Great guy. His name was Mr. Mead. Oh yeah, Mr. Mead, that's his name. I had Mr. Mead in basically every year. It was like 7th to 11th grade we had Mr. Mead because it was a small private school. Wait, 7th to 11th grade? I, I thought it was going to be like 7th to 8th grade for a reason. And I felt like, wait, really? For for real? I mean, I have no question about this, Nathan, but I was thinking I thought that would be like the end of middle school to high school because that would have been changed differently. And it would have been like, wait, from junior year? I thought it was all the way from senior year. The highest I would get on the test would be like a 97. And I always wanted to get a 100 just for fun. Just uh, I would think it would be fun. I mean, I don't know if I would do that, but, but here's the catch. If I get a good grade, I go in between from, you know, 75 to 100. 
You know what? 80 to 100 is a better choice option. So yeah, that is perfect. But other lower grades? No. That will be terrible if I do that. That's it. No question. I just want a perfect record. Exactly. So one day I came in, I was super prepared. I had everything in my brain. I was going to ace this test. I mean, you, you already did take the acing test. What happens if you don't? Okay. Do you remember what the lesson was? Like, what was it about? Like, American history? Like, no, what, the, dude, of course I don't. So I do the test, and uh -huh. then my friend behind me is like, dude, Susan is cheating. And I was like, dude, what? <gasps> what? Oh, yeah. You always got to say that. You what? Why did you say that? My test is almost done. I look over, and Susan, she had a bunch of index cards with the answers, <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> Susan. And oh, my God. I don't think Mr. Mead would not be happy with that. And like, <laughs> Mr. Mead saw me and my friend talking about it. And he was like, will you boys stop talking? And I was like, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Mead. I, I mean, that was not that. I mean, it was it was Susan that did that. That was all that happened. Oh, perhaps it almost turned out to be like, you know, of course, whatever this is. I mean, definitely whatever happens like that. I mean, like the character for the avatar get my test back and i got a 95 and i go Ooh. huh i mean 95 is not bad actually <laughs> why would you say that in famous swoosh i mean nathan i mean it doesn't have to be like perfect or everything i mean you all you do is just take the test i mean that's it and it says minus five for talking and oh. i was like you <laughs> have got to be kidding me oh so i thought you're not supposed to talk in class i mean what if the teacher does say, I'm giving you five points off because you talk during in class and I do not like your behaviors. And I'd be like, oh boy, I'm in big trouble. Well, not for long. I'm always like a quiet student for now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I would be talking everywhere for me. Don't ask. And then that was when I was like, Mr. Mead, <laughs> Susan <laughs> was cheating, and that's why I was talking. I didn't cry, but, you know. Uh, yeah, but you tattletailed I, a little well, bit. Well, dude, I wanted a perfect <laughs> score, perfect man. man. He, you never got that perfect 100? No, nope, I that never. That perfect hundo? Dude, literally, for the rest of high school, I never got a 100 on it. Oh, my God. Somebody would be ugly. I would never say that, that you're ugly. I say you're always perfect. Just a good tip. One of his tests. Wow. This is like a weird topic, but one thing yep. I learned to hate because of school was pooping in public bathrooms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's in public bathrooms. I mean, I thought it would be private to have that one closed up. And then everybody's just looking at it and mean like, what? Oh, my God. In fact, I thinking that this video, I accidentally just did that. I put a disclaimer, but this would be like gross to do that. I mean, I would hate that. Nobody would like to do this. Okay, I'll stop with the pooping content, especially me and CS 188. Okay. <laughs> when I'm like on the toilet or whatever, and someone's sure. in the stall next to me or like comes when I'm in, doing my business, <laughs> I'm sitting there not moving a muscle. Like they know I'm there. Yeah. There's no way I'm making a little badonk sound <laughs> in freaking dead silence. Every bird's in dead silence if they could hear it like that. And there's like no bathroom or anything. I mean, there's nobody coming in right now. I mean, somebody would definitely go up there and, oh my God. I mean, I, I can't help it. I mean, I'm all over this. Doing it on my toilet, on my phone, in just house. But I just don't do it at school. Because sometimes there would be germs there. I decided not to. But uh, just a little leak. That's it. They need to play music in bathrooms. Cause Dude, I totally agree. For real? It's so quiet. You like hear the door open. You hear the foot. I mean, that's what the noise was. Like that. No, Steps. dude. Oh my god. And then they sit down, and then it's silence, and then it's just oh, two dude. of you. Just in the room. And then you just. Was there a? <laughs> I mean, you're like. There he is. He's at it right over the door. I mean, I don't believe it. I thought that was like the famous swoosh that did that. Oh my God. I mean, I can't help it. Time when you had to be like, I can't hold it in anymore. Um, excuse me, Mr. Mead. I mean, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I, you know what I actually <laughs> do remember from Mr. Mead is that one of the girls would be like, can I use the bathroom? And he's like, sure. And they would go. And then I'd be like, hey, Mr. Mead, can I go to the bathroom? Well, Susan's not back yet. And I'm like, <laughs> but Susan's a girl. I mean, she is actually, but I would say it's, 
<laughs> Don't look at me like that with the angry eyes. All I said was, if somebody is using a pass, you have to wait until somebody comes back. I mean, every time in high school when you get a pass, I mean, you just got to write that name down and then you just got to go right up to the bathroom. So, yeah, that's definitely what you have to do. Uh, if she's not back yet, I mean, just bring your student ID with you just in case. You definitely don't want to lose it anyway. It's faster and easier way to scan it while, you know, like not pushing buttons in there with the dirty uh, little fingers in that in between for a little bit of the hand germs. And I know it would not be. So I would just wait here and then when someone comes back, it will be my turn. But everything on the list in high school, I mean, you just got to wait for your turn. And yeah, don't feel panic. Like, I need to use it, Mr. Me. We Come only on, have man. the hall pass. You know what? Oh, yeah, the hall pass it is. It's worse than not being able to use the bathroom. Not having a good VPN. What? 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 That was I was going to say that. This video was sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surf okay, whatever. I would not say about VPN, so I'm going to skip this ad and move along. Use that prep of God's heaven to keep me popping and checking God. I gotta represent. Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep copping all the checks. Stay on top of all the rest. Hey, Tom! Did you know that Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads and trackers allowing you to surf the web safely? Built in. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, <laughs> not again. Oh yeah, my favorite movie. It's the best. Tom Cruise, you're the best. Stay not like even this. I can sweat it with these haters because they know that I'm the best. I ain't stopping for a step. Did you do prom at school? No, dude. We didn't have prom at all. Oh, you oh what? Why not? I didn't even have prom? Like, they didn't even do it? I remember telling my mom that I didn't want to go to prom. Like, this is stupid. I'm not going to have a good time. In my well, I would not say that. I mean, I wouldn't question that. And you're just going to have a fun time already. I mean, dance with some girls. Have a little bit of a good chat in between. And sometimes, yeah, and maybe gentlemen's here too. I mean, you can ask them what's up. My mom was like, you gotta go to prom. You need to have that moment in your life, you know? And now, yeah. I'm, now I'm glad I did it. But well, yeah, I know you did now. You I never had really prom, did. swoosh? No, I, I did. No, I didn't, bro. No. Uh, well, my school, actually, uh, we do have prom. So, yeah, I, the first one I went to was a junior prom one. I mean, it was pretty exciting. And then the second one was my senior prom. But everything had changed due to a COVID-19 pandemic. And then... And there, there was an outdoor one, so we definitely have to go to Long Branch and just go outside. And then there is a little bit of a check off in between. And then there's a tent, so we can definitely just enjoy around. And yes, right by the beach is definitely amazing. Here's me and her. I missed her so much. But I wouldn't mind if I would have to. Like, it's always me and Sweet Beast at the beach together. If it would be. Uh, it would have saved that whole farting incident with the other crush. I could have just been like, let me show you a good time. I'm sorry about that one let me, incident. Let me buy you flowers. Did you have a... <laughs> He's like whimpering and whippering. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> wow, swoosh. I mean, I'm sorry what you did to us. Senior prank? Dude, my senior year was during COVID, so it got... Oh, yes. Yeah, same thing, too. That was what I was going to say about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, wasn't it in 2020? I guess so. Or is it in 2021, actually? Because I was, I didn't go to senior prom in, like, in 2021. Only the barbecue thing I definitely went to was in 2021. And definitely on that occasion, at least, definitely had a good time. Eventually, I definitely would have to enjoy it to do it again. But I only had to done it one time, so, um, yeah, that's kind of a little unchaotic to me. So I would never have to go back to do the uh, senior barbecue and, like, do many more high schools if I get a bad grade at it. Well, no, no, no. This won't happen like that. Okay. Really? Cut in half. When did you graduate? I graduated in 2020. Yes, that's the same thing just like you did. Like, all you definitely say is, uh, odd ones out. You say that, what year did you graduate from? And he said, class of 2020. And that was me. That was the luckiest kid I graduated in high school in 2020. But then I had to stay longer until 2023. Because... You know, it's never going to happen. My parents were thinking that they would suffer all with the money. So they would definitely lose everything. And because you know that college is very expensive at that point. I mean, too late now. I'm already in college now. But hopefully, yeah, I think next year 
My mom is going to retire soon. I don't know what to do. And I don't want my dad to retire to the same year too. Well, she has no choice. So I'm not going to tell you everything about it. I just don't want to do that or else everything will be ruined. Okay? So I'm not going to tell her anything about it. And to you. You're the class of 2020? That's got to be like a title. At every family just, graduation until we're dead, we're going to bring up how we were robbed mm -hmm. and no one's going to care. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what's going to be. Class of 2024. I mean, it's getting there close, but I have to think of it more. Did you have to wear a uniform, Swoosh? Yes, we did have to wear oh. a uniform, man. Ew! Whoa! What is up with your legs? What the heck is that? That is so... Oh my god, that is really, really weird. And I would never wear it like that. You know, kind of disgusting. That is like, uh, inappropriate, I'm gonna say. But uh, I would wear like a good uniform like it's me. I'm a pro and expressing myself. Yeah, definitely. And it was like button up blue shirt, navy blue pants, black dress shoes, and a navy blue tie, man. Oh yeah, that's what you wore in class. Okay, all right, all right, sorry. A tie? Yeah, I wore a tie to school every day. Do you have a picture of this? I do have a picture of it. I gotta find one. This was me on- Let me see that. The first day of seventh grade. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So I understand that. Good outfit. Oh, look a little baby. Oh, <laughs> oh, I mean like a first kid, like you're in a middle, middle whoops, middle school. I just would have been felt like I would be like him. But me, it's definitely like in high school, every year's before the last of high school remains left. And now I'm in college. Swoosh. In first grade, we would go to gym class. The teacher would like put deodorant on our arms. And you might be like, what are you talking about? What? But the deodorant was called speed stick. A speed stick? I can't even imagine that everybody wearing a deodorant with their speed sticks on in phys ed class. I mean, I was expecting that if it would be like, if you know what? I'm going to have to put speed sticks on and change my clothes into my uh, gymnasium clothes with me. And that would be like, good enough that I can definitely wear it. Or else if I haven't brought one, it will be all sweaty and it will be like a mess. So... Yeah, I mean, nobody would like that. And we thought that if we got this on our arms, we could run super fast. I fully believed it. And like, she would go, first grade. I was Oh yeah, I mean, I, I thought that would be like that. I mean, phys ed clothes that you're wearing. Yeah, and that's, it's not ugly legs anymore. So <laughs> good to hear that. Yeah, I was like, give me, give me a speed stick. And she would like wipe it on my arm and I get to start running, bro. I was like, <laughs> zooming. Did you ever have- <laughs> Zoom like a fast hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, which one do you guys like? Do you like me as Sonic the Hedgehog of Chris Sonic Guy? Or do you like me, the one that I look like the beast? Leave your thoughts in the comment below. A teacher that was pregnant because my first grade teacher didn't stop teaching when she was pregnant and oh, that Lord. really oh no <laughs> I, I i was not expecting you didn't tell anyone that you're gonna have a baby really sucked you know we're in first grade this is like our second year of school ever and this teacher is throwing up in the trash cans and had a very short oh time. my gosh did she ever like oh ew i i yeah, I mean, I was definitely thinking that this would be very bad. I see a couple kids here when I was in elementary school, someone throwing up on the floor. I'm mean, like, oh my God, no, 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 no. I, I mean, everyone's been throwing up like that. I mean, I don't want to throw up. If something bad happens, then I'm going to leave because you know what happens. It is not that good. Oh my God. I will not let this happen again. You know that. That's like, see you eating your lunch and being like, I'm grabbing something and like grab it off no. your like little grubby hands and no. start eating it. We would like be doing like an assignment. We're like writing or something. And then just in the corner, I hear her. <laughs> oh my no. God. No. What? Stuff. There, there. We pat her on the back. <laughs> that kid's probably, Oops. probably older than me now. Oh shoot. You're so right. Oh my God. Wait, wait, really? Is that true? How old were you in first grade? Uh, like probably like six or seven, right? And you're six years older than me, dude. Yeah, so <laughs> you are that kid. Is your mom Mrs. Clark? D oh. Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? Mrs. Clark? 
Okay, I was actually uh, was w- w- understanding of what it is now. So I was thinking like, Mrs. Clark? I mean, yes, I mean, that is the teacher. I mean, he said it right. I mean, I couldn't just ask that. I mean, good to hear that story from you. When you're back as first, uh, yeah, I mean, second grade. I mean, what do you ever expected? If you ever see a teacher, I mean, give a hello to that. <laughs> I remember where there was one day where my friend James, he carved bruh into the toilet paper dispenser. Okay, so he- Oh, now there's another guy from James? Not the one from Out is Out? Vandalized. Mr. Josh Brolin, callback from the teacher's video. In the morning oh. announcements, he was like, Who wrote bruh on the toilet paper dispenser? And like, I remember James mm-hmm. being like, dude, that was me. And I was like, dude, you wrote <laughs> bruh on the toilet paper dispenser? So it was 20- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. That's what he just said? Who wrote the bra thing on the toilet paper? And also on that one, tier two? I mean, if he would have asked right now, I mean, that would be him. He would definitely would mess it up entirely around the school. And yes, this is going to feel the wrath out of him. Not kidding. But this is definitely what nobody likes. Especially when you're sending him to one of the uh, Shennessy's office here. Just like when you notice here, Key and Pearl, you don't get that. Whenever he does that name, it's because of pronouncing name incorrectly. Okay, I'm not going to do this again, but uh, I only have two minutes left here, and then I should probably get to start moving on. So I can tell what the uh, story is about my college. 22, my cousin was like a senior, okay? And I was like helping out with the school's like field day with like activities. And I remember by the end of the day, the principal was like, we're gonna do senior hide and seek. I remember feeling so left out and I ran up to the principal and I was like, dude, my senior year was cut in half. Please (laughs) let me participate. I'm begging you. And he goes, all right, Nathan's gonna join too. And I was like, yippee! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ran out of the crowd and everything. My friend Tim from- Oh, Tim. Just the same thing. Oh my god. It's the same thing just like that. Our last video that we recorded. Yeah, that's so many times. Ew! Gross! Get rid of that! Who choked on stage. That guy. Yeah. I was like, Tim, we gotta hide somewhere, dude. And he's like, okay, I have a great idea. There was this small room where the vending machine is. Above the vending machine, on the ceiling, there's a little door. On the ceiling? Uh, On the ceiling, like a very small one. Like an attic? Yeah, like an attic type thing. Wait, are you allowed to do that? Really? In the attic? I remember in high school seeing it and being like, dude, wherever that goes, I don't know, I don't yeah. even know. So like Tim was like, I got this crazy idea. Let's get in there. Uh, that's going to be a killer hiding spot. So we like got like chairs and we like oh jumped up there. It was like really hard to get up there. And like someone even like pushed our feet up, dude. Oh. No one could find us. We're definitely not supposed to be up there. <laughs> oh yeah, that is definitely dangerous. So I would never do that, especially to you guys. So Please do not attempt to climb in the attic at the school building. Seriously. You're going to get caught for that. And we find this little crevice where you can, like, crawl under. Because they start to find out that, like, we're up here in this room. So Tim tries to, like, crawl <laughs> away. They're in the walls! Dude, his feet? Yeah, I thought you were going to say, uh, they're on the ceiling. Came through the ceiling? And they were like... <laughs> Oh my goodness! Like, his feet were, like, hanging through the ceiling, and he, like, backed up, and there were, like, two giant holes in the ceiling. Tim got, like, in major trouble. They were like, is anyone else up there? And he, like, looks back at me. Nah, there's no one up here. And he went (laughs) down, dude, and I stayed up there. Wait, you stayed up here? Seriously? (laughs) I was up there, and I remember, like, a teacher at one point was like, Nathan, get down from there. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. (laughs) Oh, yeah, he's caught now. So he's in trouble, too. Game's over. (laughs) Here's the picture. Oh my god. Oh my god! Now you're going to show it up here, right here, on the top of the ceiling. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I mean, I, I'm i seriously going to say this right now. I'm going to kick someone's ass out of it. Sorry if I said that. I'm going to say kick someone's butt. Oh my god. I can't help it. I mean, I would never attempt to do that. I'm a good student. Dude, I regret nothing, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me, James, on this adventure. Adventure? You know? I've been sitting in my chair. I thought I was going to be like uh, joining about the story. I mean, yeah, I mean, that was all happened. Chair this whole time. I'm looking at emails from like 2014. I was in high dude. school then. <laughs> you were in high school in 2014, dude? I graduated in 2014. Oh, yeah. The long year before you, Nathan. That was like 10 years ago. I just can say that. I mean, yeah. Oh, all right. So, I, I thought he was gonna say something. All right. Uh, 
Okay. So, well done with those uh, huge uh, school stories. I should call it that one anyway. So, um, yeah, great work with that one here, Nathan. Give that one a 9 out of 10 stars. Yes, I. Uh, that was my biggest over review. But I forgot about the uh, the hiking for the Boy Scouts for It, it Sucks. Um, I'm just going to say it's... Um, I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10 stars to that video. So, yeah, I totally forgot about that one here. Or did I at least say that? No, I don't think so. So, with that, I guess that is pretty much it with this one. And, yes, I'll do another reaction video soon. Thanks to the reject suggestion idea from a YouTuber, I will try to see what I can do. Maybe compare it in between, like, the range. So, you'll never know when it comes to like that. Anyway, peace out, folks, for a while as the... The school story dial featuring the odd ones out. But I'll have to flip it on over on that side because he missed the uh, YouTube Rewind in 2018. And he will tell about more information. So stay tuned for the next video as I'll be doing that one here shortly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again for the next video. Peace out, folks. Until now. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media. And click the like video and hit the icon bell so you don't miss out with the new videos. And it's the best way to support for my channel of the work I do. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Mr. Son of Beast, out of here! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.